Hey guys, so in this video, I'd like to talk about how to release your ping, uh, also boost your FPS on any game, Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, or Dota 2, or any kind of game, any kind of FPS game. So first of all, you have to do go to Start Menu and type Registry Editor. So just type Registry Editor. So open this Open Registry Editor, run as administration, and then come here and go to H key Local Machine. And from here, you're going to go to system, then current control set, and from here services, and then find TCP IP. So it's so much bottom, I guess. Let's just type T. So this is TCP IP, as you can see, just, you know, put, click on here. And once you come here, go click parameters click interfaces so now you, you have to find your IP address so in order to find IP address you have to click uh, CMD right click run as administrator press yes and type IP C O N F I G IP config and here you have to find your IP address so this is your IP address right now what I mean mine is 192.168.0.102 and my default gateway is 192.168.0.1 so just check all of these which is match with your IP address so um, yes yeah, so for me this is my IP address as you can see DHC IP address so as you can see it's totally matched with my current one it's like 102 at the end so it's like similar and also the default gateway is same so from on this file from here you have to create a new word file so um, yeah just right click click new click the word value and from here you have to type exactly what I type like yeah T C P A C K frequency if I E Q U E N C Y frequency. Okay, I guess the spelling is correct. Double click it, value one, and make sure to choose hexadecimal. Press OK. Um, right click again, click new, click the word value, and this time type TCP non delay. So once you've done that, um, sorry, I have to rename it. TCP non delay, double click, value 1, hexadecimal, press OK. So, yeah, once you've done that, uh, check you have other IP address similar to this domain. If there is none, that, that means. Um, if there is none, that means you just have to create these two files only in here, and um, after you've done it, hopefully it will work and it will release your pain problems also your low fps and there will be no packet loss problems and um yeah hey guys so um this step will fix your packet loss i mean reduce your packet loss way more um so all you have to do is just you know um stop your background applications so to do that you have to go to run again and type services.msc so as you can see it's already right here services.msc press ok and once you come here you can find this background intelligent transfer service so you're gonna double click it and all you can do is disable this startup and press apply press ok so uh, what it does, it will no more automatically um, auto start your softwares. So um, yeah, that will much help you to um, reduce your packet loss. Um, because if you go to Task Manager, you can see there's many software is running. Um, so this is your RAM. You can see this, I'm using this, but rest of the application you can see take 
a lot of RAM to be honest except for Google Chrome so that's basically you can do all right so this step will fix your packet loss problem and also it will reduce your ping so first of all you have to go to run R U N and once you come here you're gonna type JPE DIT dot MSC press OK so once you've done that you're gonna go to the administrative templates you're gonna click here and then go to the network so double click network and from here you, ca you can see that it said QoS packet scheduler so you're gonna double click here and in here it said limit reservable bandwidth so um, yeah so you're gonna double click here as well and then you're going to disable it and click apply um, but first if this bandwidth limit is 80 percent um, just make it just delete this 8 first then you're gonna go disable it um, press apply and then OK and then quit this so that's basically work um, and then try if it's working if you see that it's do some previously it was better you can like undo things so yeah hey guys so once you've done all of that um, finally you have to go to your PC and click on your drive for example I'm going to choosing my C drive and right click your C drive go to properties and once you come here click this clean up so um, make sure you check more those I mean all of these because those files are mostly unimportant uh, except downloads and because those are mostly junk files and it will boost your computer I mean it make your computer a little bit faster than it used to so just delete files and it's gonna take for a while to finish and yeah it's finished and uh, you can also um, remove this download files as well but before that make sure you check it and what did you download if it's nothing's important just close it um, second thing I'm gonna tell you is um, go to run again I'm sorry go to run and type percentage P E M P percentage press OK uh, if you have like many junk files like me like I have a certain amount of junk files I press ctrl A shift delete as you can see I have 32 junk files almost so delete everything and which is cannot be deleted just skip it so that's what you're gonna do go to run again and type prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h okay and then continue then control a shift delete and you can see 213 junk files just press yes and skip which is not deleted and then go to run one more time and then now you're going to type recent r-e-c-e-n-t press ok and you might see oh this is a really useful file but if you see the type those are sh all shortcuts so you don't need shortcuts so you're going to control x to delete and you're going to have to press yes or no um, one last time you're going to go to come here and type t-r-e-e -E. um, so it is kind of like a refresh but a different way um, if it's not work for you then it's fine it's for me that thing is enough so um, yeah and press F5 to the desktop sometime because um, F5 do some magic trick
and that's basically it guys um yeah so if this could help you please do subscribe to my channel and um yeah